And I did just want to mention that I'm having a huge sale on my Etsy shop right now, which includes two bonus envelopes and 10% off your order. So now I have all of my orders ready here and laid out and I have some sample stickers in each one. And then now you can print out your shipping labels and print out your packing slips. I'm going to start putting my packages together. So what I'll do is I'll just take one of the sheets and then it says what should be in there. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I am going to be doing a little day in the life working in an Etsy shop today and I'm just going to be working for the next two to three hours here to get all my orders done that I have in right now. I think I have six orders total so it shouldn't take me more than a couple hours. And if you guys don't follow along with my channel, I do have a 20 month old daughter. So my husband's outside playing with her right now so if you hear her in the background throughout the video at all, that's what it is. And also I am 25 weeks pregnant. So I just started my Etsy shop back up. I took about a three month break at the beginning of my pregnancy when I was pretty sick and I just wasn't feeling like doing my Etsy shop for a while. So I only have six orders today to fill since I just started my Etsy shop back up and I'm just starting to get new orders in. I have stickers to make on my silhouette and then I also have cash envelopes to make and I'm going to take you through my whole process of that. And then at the end as well, I will show you how I package up the items and ship them out. So that's what I'm going to be doing and I will also include the supplies that I use along the way and they will also be linked in the description box below all the supplies that I use to make my cash envelopes and to make my stickers and if I leave anything out just leave a comment down below and I'll be able to answer your question. Yeah, let's get started. I'm going to start by going through my inventory and seeing what I have on hand so far to start my orders and then I will pull that out. After I see what I have on hand, then I will start the process of picking out the paper that I need for the envelopes, cutting the paper, folding it, and laminating it. And then I'll save the stickers to do after I finish doing the cash envelopes. I think I have four sets of cash envelopes to make this morning, so I'm going to show you that process. So these are the envelopes here that I have in my stockpile. And I'll just show you here, there's quite a bit of paper. So if someone orders one of these sets, it's very easy for me to just pull it out and start, all I have to do would be fold and laminate instead of going through and cutting all of them. And then I also have some pre-laminated ones in here that are ready to just be shipped out and some that are just folded. So I have kind of an array of things in this box. And then these are my stickers that I have here in this little box. I don't keep too many stickers on hand because I don't wanna waste my sticker paper since I don't have a ton of orders in my shop right now and print a bunch of stickers that someone's not going to order. So I usually do the stickers as soon as someone orders them. And then I already went through my stockpile and picked out this set right here that's ready to be laminated. And I have these large envelopes as well that you store your smaller envelopes in. And someone ordered a light blue one, which I had on hand. So that's going to be here. This order is actually together and I just need to laminate this set now. And now that I went through my stockpile and I saw that I have that on hand, I'm going to go through and pick out the paper that I need to cut and start cutting that. And also, since I said I was going to talk about where I get my supplies from, I get all of my paper from Hobby Lobby and I also got these two storage boxes from Hobby Lobby. And I don't get any of my paper from Michaels unless it is just for these large envelopes. I did get some of this from Michaels. They do have a good selection of just solid colors, but I really don't prefer Michael's paper pads. And I'll show you my stockpile of paper pads down here. It's not very organized. Don't mind my blanket that I'm using because our house is really cold today. Okay, I just got my cutting boards out of the way, but most every paper pad that I love is from Paper Studio. And Hobby Lobby has 40% off on all Paper Studio um, scrapbooking paper every other week. So I try to wait until it's on sale so that I can get it half off. And this one is Paper Studio also. I love this book. This is one of my most popular books. I have all of them stocked right now, the blue and gold foil. And then I also have the pink and gold marble and I have the cotton candy marble sets. So I'm in love with those ones. And then this one is the mermaid book. This is also one of my most popular ones. And I have two mermaid sets, a teal one and a purple one. Like I said, most all of them you can see is the Paper Studio brand. And I have a whole bunch of pads in there. And then I also have this whole one filled up with a bunch of pads. 
And I just got these little tubs from um, Home Goods. So, just in case you were wondering. So now I'm going to go through my book here and see what designs I need to tear out. I have two orders from this book, and then I also have a couple more from different books, so I'll be going through the different books and getting out the patterns I need so that I can cut the paper. And I love the Paper Studio, that's my favorite brand of paper. Um, usually every time I get new patterns, it's from the Paper Studio. And then, <laughs> don't mind my little helper in here. And then um, I go, <laughs> quiet down Missy. And then I go through when I first get the paper pad and I separate out what I want the sets to be. So now I'm just going to go through and get out the ones that someone ordered. Now I'm going to go through and cut the paper for the envelopes that haven't been cut yet. And I only have probably about 15 papers to cut, so it won't take me long. I'm very fast at this now. It used to take me a lot longer. But I just line it up at the seven here, seven inches. And then I cut. And then I turn it, and I line it up at the six. Because my envelopes are each 7 inches by 6 inches high, and then when I fold them, it makes them 7 inches by 3 inches. So now that I have all the paper cut, I'm going to start folding them. So I'm going to set up my camera here and get to work on folding them. all the envelopes folded including those ones and some of them are flattening right now and I just put them under this bin because it's really heavy and then they flatten out really nicely and now I'm going to start up my laminator so I have it heating right now this is just the Amazon basics laminator I think I got it for about $20 on Amazon and it will be linked below I've tried out the scotch one as well and I did not like that one it didn't work very well so I just stuck with the Amazon basics I have two of them and I kind of rotate using them. And then also I got the Amazon Basics laminating pouches and these I think I can get 200 for $18. So they're not bad either. And they last me for quite a while. So now I'm going to set up and what I do is I do three per pouch and I'll show you kind of how I set them up here. And then I will just start feeding them through the laminator. And it looks like it's ready because the green light just turned on. So I'm going to start with the blue and gold set that I have here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the pouches. I just do three at a time. I have more in-depth tutorials um, of how I make my cash envelopes, but I'm just going to kind of speed through this. So I put three in the pouch, and then I will just feed it through the laminator. So that's all that I do.
finished getting all my envelopes cut and I actually didn't film that just because I was trying to hurry up and get that done. And so I have this blue set here for one order and then I have this floral set here that goes with this holiday set that someone ordered both of these sets. And then this floral set here as well. I am about to start working on my stickers here. So I just pulled up this page and I am making two study sheets and then these are just some script stickers that someone ordered. And then I'm also making two no spends. So I'm going to print this out and up here I will just do file print. We don't need a print bleed for this one because I don't use that for script stickers or for the no spends because it messes them up. So I will just push print and it's already moved to the best here, which that's what I keep it at for stickers. And then I will just print one sheet. And the sticker paper that I have loaded in the printer right now is from Online Labels. And I also have that linked in the description box below as well in case you need some sticker paper. But I use the removable sticker paper, the mat, so that way if you stick it down, you can always peel it back up and restick it. And then I am also going to print out one sheet of just no spend stickers. So now I'm going to start making the labels and I have labels to make for three different sets of envelopes. So I'm going to use my brother label maker here. And this is linked in the description box below as well. And I'm going to get started making the labels. And now I'm just going to take this little piece of folded up cardstock and I'm going to put the labels in them and tape it up. And this is how I just make sure that the labels don't get lost. I'll have them right in here. So now I have all of my orders ready here and laid out and I have some sample stickers in each one. I'll just show you a few of the samples right now. So I just like to sprinkle some samples in each order so that people can try out my stickers if they'd like. And then I have all the labels ready and I'm ready to start packaging them up. So all I have to do now is just print out the shipping labels and I'm going to show you how I do that. Hopefully you're able to see this, but first I'm just going to select all and I have, let me see, all five selected. Hopefully people don't mind their names being shown here, but I have all of them selected. And then I'm gonna go up to the top and click the shipping button and now I will have to go through and I'll have to adjust the weight of each item if anything needs to be changed. So I'm just going to do that quick and then I'll show you my next step. Now that I did that, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select the date that they will be shipping so that everyone gets notified on the right day. And I'm going to click Monday because the mail has already went out today, it's Saturday. And obviously the mail won't go out Sunday, so then Monday will be my next option. And then I will review my purchase and it'll say you're purchasing five labels and I'm just going to push purchase. And then now you can print out your shipping labels and print out your packing slips. So now that I have all the orders done and my labels and packing slips printed out, and I have my packing slips here, and then I have my labels all cut out. I just cut them by hand with scissors. I'm going to start putting my packages together. So what I'll do is I'll just take one of the sheets and then it says what should be in there. And then I just make sure that all the stickers are right because this one is a sticker order. 
And I will write a little note if there's anything I need to inform them of, so I'm just going to do that really quick. And now I'm going to just fold up these into the paper. I use little cellophane bags, and these are also linked in the description box. I just get them from Amazon, and they're very cheap. And then I put the stickers in it just in case any water gets into the package. Then the stickers won't get damaged. And then for my sticker orders, I use these cardboard mailers. And these are from Amazon as well. They come in a pack of 100. And they will be linked below in the description as well. And then I'm just going to close that up. And then I use these roll of thank you stickers here. They're just a little th circle thank you sticker. I'm not sure if you can see those. And I put them right on the back of the package. I'll show you an up close shot after I do it. These are from Amazon as well and they will be linked in the description box, but it just adds a nice little touch. And then I will tape on the label. And for my next order, I have three sheets of no spend stickers, so I'm just going to make sure I have the right order here. And I'm going to add my little message. that just has envelopes so I'm going to package them a little bit differently and I'm going to use one of these mailers here and I just think these are so cute and they're not very expensive I have them linked below as well and I just get them from Amazon and then also I am doing Vernice's order right now she won the last giveaway so she placed another order um, she had two sets of envelopes and one of them was free because she won the giveaway. So make sure and enter my weekly giveaways when I do my cash envelope videos. I just wanted to let you know in case you haven't seen one of those yet, I do have weekly giveaways. going to be it for this video. I just finished packaging up all of my orders. So now I am ready to send them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to all of them. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!